Welcome to the world of song tricks, where you can explore and create music with a freedom you have never known before. The following videos will show you how to get instant results with auto styles or how to create your own song from scratch. For now, let's get started with a guided tour of the Song Tricks workspace. We begin by opening a prepared song. As it happens, this one is called Song Tricks and you can download your own copy from the Chord Wizard Network website. More on this later. The Song Tricks workspace has five views and we can switch between them with the tabs at the bottom. Each gives us a different way to work with the song. For now, we are in the Mixer view, where we can get a good overview. In Mixer view, the song worksheet runs in lines across the screen, similar to how text wraps on a page. The bars or measures of the song are numbered and we can scroll up or down to move around the song. Songs can have several tracks. Each one is a different colour and contains the music being played by one instrument. The musical events in each track are shown in miniature and we can click on any cell to audition it. Here we have the drums, bass, rhythm, chords, riff, melody, and lyrics tracks. We can start playback of all tracks together with the play button. And we can interrupt it with the stop button. These same tracks appear in the mixer panel, where we can set up their sound, adjust their speaker positions, change their volume levels, or mute them to concentrate on the other tracks. Further down, we can set the master volume of the song or adjust the tempo so it plays faster or slower. We can also open the song setup window, which allows us to add or remove tracks and contains all of the other settings for the song. Now let's switch to track view and take a look at the musical events in each track. In track view, the song worksheet appears as a single long line in the top half. Notice the focus is still on the same cell that we selected in Mixer view. The detail of the selected track is shown in the bottom half. You'll see our bar 57 is bold and has a pale background to show it has the focus. We navigate the song in track view using the scroll bars, either here or here, and the two halves stay synchronised with each other. Within the grid lines of the track, we place events to create music, and this is where we start to see the real power of song tricks. Although it produces standard staff notation on screen and in print, it does this automatically while giving us a more comfortable and flexible visual canvas to work with. For example, we can use a range of events from simple notes to pitch bend notes to create a performance more expressive than is possible with staff notation alone. Within the track, the bars are divided into beats and then further into beat divisions. Each line represents a note on the piano keyboard. Moving the events around changes their pitch or timing. The result is a melody that you can see as well as hear. We can audition the focus bar both on its own or together with the other tracks. When we select a different track in the song worksheet, the detail in the bottom half will change. Let's look at the drums track. This shares several features with the melody track. The grid framework is the same, but instead of a piano keyboard on the left, we see the different drum sounds that we have in our drum kit. There are many events shown here, but Song Tricks makes it easy to assemble and copy rhythms and musical passages like this, and we explore how in the other videos. As with the melody track, we can audition the rhythm made by these events in the focus bar. Chords are the building blocks that give songs their distinctive character, and they form the backbone of Song Tricks with the chords and rhythm tracks. Any chord can be selected by the combination of its root note 
and chord type. And the sound audition is very helpful for exploring new ideas. The notes or tones in the chord that we have selected are shown here and there are many ways to refine their sound. For example, we can raise or lower the overall chord inversion by adjusting the pitch of the bass note, which appears here in slash notation. These chord tones then go on to form the lines of the rhythm track. Events in the rhythm track can cover multiple lines and play whole chords. Although we have a simple staccato pattern here, we can use different events to build complex rhythms such as guitar strums and arpeggios. Once a rhythm is created, it can be used with any other chord, either here or when copied elsewhere in the song. Every time we make a change to the musical events, Songtrix regenerates the staff notation which it displays in staff view. Notice again the focus remains on bar 57 when we switch views. We can adjust many aspects of the staff notation, including the sizing and whether to wrap the staves into lines or display a single horizontal stave. Staff view shows all tracks of the song, but we can also print staff notation, and this gives us more flexibility with the layout. We can select a staff sheet report and preview how it will print. To begin with, it looks very similar to the layout in staff view. However, if we open the printing options window and remove the bass, rhythm and riff tracks, we can get a useful lead sheet format that shows just the lyrics, melody and chords. You're now ready to move on to the other videos and explore how easy it is to create great music with Songtrix. Don't forget that Songtrix has excellent help file documentation and the multimedia How Music Works tutorials to give you a complete background on all of the musical concepts.